Page 8, Liebestrom. Technically, it's Liebestrom number 3. Liszt wrote three of these, and this is the melody from the third one, the most famous one. It's in 3-4 time. There are some accidentals in it. We'll deal with those. I've got some challenges going on. Let's talk about this. Right hand first. Just make sure we got the notes and the rhythms. You're coming in on beat three. It's three. And that G is tied. You see that little line? You hang on to it. Don't play it again. It's Because this is melody, and that's melody. And that's a good idea to do. One, two, three. Because if you didn't tie it, you couldn't connect them. And we want to connect them, so this is a good way of doing it. Tie, just tie the note. One, two, three, one. And I use a two on the G sharp. You can use a thumb if you want to. If you have really little hands, you can't reach it. That's fine. I like to stay out here as much as I can. And that's tied. Hold it down for five counts and then four. Just lift up and move. Two, three. And you have an F, they point it out. You need to know that note. Just memorize it. Top line is an F. And then a five again. Two, three. Three, one. You do that some more. Uh, actually, that's about it. Isn't it. Left hand. Broken chord. C chord. And you have this. Just... If you have fat fingers and thick hands and you can't fit in here, you got to do one here. Otherwise, use the fingering in the books. 5, 2, 1, G sharp. And then scratch out G natural, G sharp. And if, again, you got big hands and fat fingers, that doesn't work. So instead of 3, you got to use 4. So you can do that. But I'll leave that up to you. But if you have small hands and can do that, use the fingering in the book. See, again, they gave you a natural sign in front of the C. You don't need it, and that's why it's in parentheses. That's a C natural, anyway. And then, and then a thumb. This is the last line on page 8. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back to the chords again. Page 9, they're not quite the same, so watch out. You're starting out the first two measures with a C chord, and this next one is okay, but now you have a B flat. So here and here. So they changed on you. Watch out. Put the hands together here. here. So it's fourth finger here now. So you go through and put the hands together, and then go back and get rid of the hesitation. So it is a steady beat. Go slow, if you have to, but it's got to be a steady beat at whatever speed you're going. Then we'll think about the, as far as the slurring goes, you can use the slurring in the book as best you can. They're not showing slurring over repeated notes. Uh, I think they should. I really do. I think that... I mean, it's like the first, the first line could all be slurred, except the last note could be separate. You'd lift up there, and the second line could all be slurred with the last note of the first line. Could all be one, It's all one phrase. Connect it. In the left hand, connect all of these. These slurs over the end of it, I disagree with that. The whole thing should be connected. Don't. Too choppy, that's rather unmusical. It's not the effect this piece. This piece wants to flow, so it's got to be connected. Very smooth. So make sure the last measure, eight, page eight, lift up with the right hand, not the left. So connect the left hand all the way through. Dynamics apply to the melody, which is in the right. It's the top. Soft. Left hand very soft. Whatever you think soft is. It's not an absolute. It's soft. Not super soft. Just soft. This is super soft. And 
you're staying in that area. They don't give you any other dynamics here. But once you get to know the piece and you get to feeling it, you might want to crescendo. I could the second line. Da, 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 I could crescendo to the F and come back down. And third line. Da, 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 if I wanted. Just because we go up the keyboard doesn't mean we're going to get louder. It's just in a lot of cases, you can. Actually, a long time ago, back hundreds of years ago, that was sort of expected. They expected you more or less to get louder if you went up. But then, the, well, that gets old, so let's not do that anymore. So now it's kind of a, you have to use your judgment. Sometimes you'll get louder going up and sometimes you won't. Experiment with it. Speed. Again, it's just a in the middle, and that's the flow of the piece. One, two, three, one, two. That's not moderato. That's that's faster than that. But the overall feel with these dotted half notes, that tends to speed it up a little bit. So it's the feel of it. Is it somewhere in the middle? There's a retardando in the last line on page 9, you simply slow down. How much you slow down? It, there's no set how much, it's just you feel it. Don't slow down too much, otherwise it gets to the point people are thinking, is this going to end? I mean, you don't want to drag. You don't want to drag too much. It's like, ugh. But you slow down a little bit. I like to play this with you slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Now I'm going to do the dynamics. So I'll give us two counts because we come in on beat three. So let's try it together slowly. Even just one hand at a time if you need to for a bit. Ready, go.